Hello friends, welcome to the 8th session of NLP playlist. We are going to learn NLTK package and its usage in this session. It's going to be a very interesting session. As usual, we are having a lot of practical implementation which you can verify and try it out with yourself. Now, there are NLP libraries that are made available and the most famous libraries are Natural Language Toolkit which is called NLTK, Apache Open NLP, Stanford NLP Suite and Gate NLP library. Out of these, Natural Language Toolkit, which is abbreviated as NLTK, is the most famous one and is written in Python. NLTK is also very easy to learn and is very intuitive. Anybody can try it out and easily they can learn it. The biggest advantage is it is written in Python. So anybody can get accustomed to it very easily. Now, let's go with the installation of it. If you have already Anaconda 3 installed, you can make it very easy with the simple command pip install nltk and this completes the process. If you have already got it installed, you will get a message as requirement already satisfied. If not, the installation will start then and it will be completed. It might take few minutes for the completion, but it's really fast. Now pip install nltk is the command that you need to remember to get the nltk installed in your system. Now I assume that you have, you have installed Jupyter in your system. If not, please install it. I have kept a clear uh, guideline and a video on how to install Jupyter. I mean, how to install Anaconda as such. Uh, it's done in um, my machine learning playlist, which you can refer and you can uh, gain knowledge out of it. Now we will go with the same thing again. Install Jupyter if you have not done it. I mean Anaconda if you have not done it. And the first step is to open it. Once you open it, the simple way to import NLTK package is to type import NLTK. You can see that here, import NLTK will get you that importer. Now, once this is done, the next step is to go with downloading the most important NLTK packages. You need to download it. So for that, we have got the command called nltk.download. You can see that here, import NLTK is the first line. The second line is nltk.download with the brackets open and close. Immediately, there will be a pop-up that will arrive like this. And there you can see collection, corpora, models, and all packages. All these are available and this is nothing but the total package which this particular NLTK toolkit, NLTK kit is going to give you. Now, this pop-up has to be watched. Sometimes it stays uh, subtle. You make sure that you watch this pop-up so that you can go for the next option. Now, what is the next thing to be done? Very simple. We need to download all the packages. Uh, for us to do a lot of stuff, for us to do with a lot of research and implementation, it's preferred to download all the packages. So click all packages and then you have a button called download here. You can see that there is a button called download and the server index from where it is getting downloaded that's mentioned here and to where it is downloaded is mentioned here. You can alter it and you can see that all these are updated pretty clearly. Now once all packages are clicked, you will get the list of packages that are available in this and you can select one by one to install it or do a control A and click install, click download. The moment you click download, it will start downloading and I'm going to show you the way it really works. It is really fast and it doesn't take much time actually. You can see that it goes green in color, faster, your internet speed really matters and if it is a good internet connection, I think you can get it in few seconds. I got it in few seconds and everything got installed and the next thing that you need to do is to see if the installation, if the download is all proper, all the packages are download properly is the next thing that you need to do. Now, you can get a message like finished installing YCOE. The final message will be this for you to proceed to the next step. I mean, you have downloaded all the packages and all the packages, once the download is complete, you will get this message as finished installing YCOE. Now, what is the next step? Very simple. Go to the directory where this has been downloaded. It was mentioned clearly in the installation process itself. You can see that here the download directory is mentioned. Just go there to see the size of the uh, files that are downloaded, the size of the package that is downloaded, that will be around 3.21 GB. And just open and see if all the modules available, uh, there are listed properly. Chunkers, Corpora, Grammars, Help, Miscellaneous, Models, Sentiments, Stemmers. All these are available here and we are going to play with all these in the forthcoming sessions. So this is a complete toolkit that is going to help us out in learning natural language processing. Now, what is the next step to do? We are going to import. We are from the NLTK book module. We are going to load all items, which means we are going to import all items. How do we do it? From NLTK dot book import space star. This imports everything. 
and you can see the way it happens practically in your screen right now when i run it everything gets imported and within seconds this work this module is so easy to learn and there is uh, no complexity at all i felt when i started learning it so we are downloading we are importing everything out here in one shot that's what you are seeing right now and we have got text 1 text 2 text 3 text 9 all these are a part of the package that we have imported now we are going to retrieve this text one by one so what is that retrieving all about you can see that in the right hand side which i am moving right now when i did an import from nltk dot book import star it imported it listed everything out there from text 1 to text 9 now when i want to know what is this text one alone we can type just text one and you will get the text content here you can see that mobby dig by herman uh, meliwell 1851 that's available here text nine you can see that the man who was thursday by gk churston 1908 that's displayed here so you can either go with a complete import which displays everything out here or you can mention text one text nine text three something like that to get the clear display of that particular text alone we are going to see that as a demo here and you can see that the text one gets you only that particular line of text similarly the text nine is tried out and the text nine gives you the similar result so it's very easy to understand and try it out all these are the methods that you can use to see if you have installed everything right with your NLTK package. So remember, try all this out when you are trying to install. And if you find a mistake or if you are not able to proceed further, please text me in the comment section. I will be able to answer you. Now, we are going to do a little bit of Sherlock here. Yes, we are going to do a search. How do we search it? We have got a couple of very important methods that we need to know. First one is concordance. Concordance is a function in NLTK which will give the context for a given word and the searches will exactly re retrieve all the sentences which has got the match for example text one dot concordance text one you know what is it i have told you there is a lot of data that is available with this lot of text available with this and one is text one so from the text one i am using concordance and in that i am searching for monstrous i am going to give the monstrous as the input to concordance now what will it do it will start searching and wherever whichever line has got monstrous available in that particular line that line will be taken out and the particular line will be displayed you can see that all the lines which has got monstrous is displayed now this is called concordance now you can see the demo out here the same code which i have tried it out here so this concordance function will give the entire line wherever that particular word that you are searching for is available that's the simplest way to understand it and you can see the result is presented here we have got 11 matches and this is the most common example that most of us try to teach when we teach it to the learners now what is the next thing that we need to learn the next thing that we need to learn is called similar there is something called as similar this is not similar to concordance but this is important as concordance now what is it very simple when i am trying to search a word called good with similar as the function for text 9 last time we used text 1 this time i'm using text 9 and last time we used concordance this time i'm using similar now this will find out this particular parameter that you are passing this particular word that you are passing will be taken as input and the words nearby the the words preceding it and words after it will also retrieve will be retrieved and you will get only the words not the sentences the previous attempt in concordance it displayed you the sentence where that monstrous was available in this time we are going to get only the words that match the context and the words could be before good or after good so that's the way we have got the result which is available in front of us using concordance give you the context surrounding the argument token which means whatever you pass here good monstrous all these are called tokens and using similar returns a list of words remember it gives you a list of words that appear in the same context as token here i have used good it displayed all the lines which has got good here i got only the words which match only the words that are before and after for the context are retrieved and they are printed out now remember uh, concordance will show you uh, the sentences where the token appears a uh, similar is just the words which are directly on either side of the token that's the easiest way to remember it concordance displays the sentence uh, the similar will get you just the words on the either side of the token i have given the same example here the monstrous 11 lines were displayed where monstrous was found but for similar option monstrous it has displayed the words on either side of the token and 
this is the way you try to raise. It's a very important uh, topic. Even in the interview, they ask you when you go for NLP stuff, what is the difference between concordance and similar? Now, the next one is length. Length of text 8, if you pass, you will get 4867. Length of text 7, uh, 1 lakh 676. Similarly, this length is a function that will count the number of characters in a particular text and it will give you. So, we are going to see that as a simple output here and you can see that we got it in the notebook. It's all very simple. We have just set the platform today. We are going to use it extensively in the future. So, I request you guys to install it in your machine and be ready with it because we are going to live with this for some more time. Thank you very much for following the channel and the content. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you have any queries, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. Thank you.